Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today we're checking out the third mission of I Expect You to Die 2, The Spy and the Liar. Bad news, Agent. The South Atlantic Union's also joining Zaraxxus. What's going on? We need to find out how Juniper's involved in all of this. Well, tune in and hear for yourself. Tune in, okay. This just in. In a surprising reversal of a strong isolationist stance, the president of the South Atlantic Union has just announced a formal partnership with Soraxis Defense. Soraxis has earned my trust. The South Atlantic Union will support Soraxis Defense in all of its upcoming initiatives. Welcome to another installment of Soraxis Presents. That's the same as Zoraxis Presents. And this is different music now that we've finished the Operation Jet Set level. There's another music here, and you can see the president of the South Atlantic Union. That's who just uh, said that they've sided with Zoraxis. Of course, we flew into Lisbon. It's like we're traveling to Barcelona now. Uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got a second trophy now. Uh, oh, we've got a bottle there of some form of liquor. Um, jobs to do for JJ. Uh, of course, John Juniper. This is created for the fabricator by Azraxis Printing. Wow, they've got their own template. That's awesome. Uh, increase gas flow to armored knights. Okay, that might be useful. Let's see how that works. Uh, we've got... Uh, set. We'll look at that in just a moment. Looks like we've got another Polaroid as well. And this is a picture of, I guess, the Fabricator. So maybe that'll show up on this map after we finish this level. So we've got Operation Eavesdrop here. Let's see. So Juniper's been working with the Fabricator. As you saw at the theater, she builds, well, call them luxury death traps for Zoraxis. Luxury death traps. I wonder what she's been doing with Juniper. Agency Intel says she operates out of a high security workshop in Barcelona. We've left it alone because, frankly, she's very good at her job. Well, there's nothing for it. Let's find out what Juniper's up to. All right, so she's very good at creating those death traps, luxury death traps, and now we're gonna go into her de death trap at the Fabricator's Tech Shop in Operation Eavesdrop. So you see that hand doesn't have one of these little globes. We need the globe. This is the place. So, if you can disarm the security system, we can sneak in and figure out what Juniper is doing for Zaraxxus. See if you can get down there without tripping any alarms. Hm. If I were you, I'd start by turning off those lasers. Yeah, I've turned Agent, off the lasers. I'm tossing Thank down you. a flashlight. What I'm looking for now is, well, there's a crossbow here with a bear. Got a knight's helmet. That's kind of cool. Um, probably useless though. Let's, oh, flashlight. That's gonna come in handy, I'm sure. Let's see, is there anything else up here that we need to do? Scary bear. Very scary. All right. So I don't think there's anything else here. Let's go ahead and take this sandwich down. Um, chair over there. Uh, Excellent work. And see. She might have something in her desk. Can you get it open? The last one. Okay. And it looks like there is more potentially on the back here. Ah, yes. Mask assembly notes. <laughs> Battery, power, and security chip. No removal without cutting. Okay. So, let's take a look over here. Anything? 
Don't think there's anything useful here. Alright. So I guess we'll get down to business. I'm not sure where the hidden trophy is on this level. But what we need to do is open these drawers. They're kind of like the combination lock. for the roll top desk. As you can see, after we got all those red sections, we can now open the roll top desk. Now each of these tools has another has a symbol on it. This one's got a star. So we put the star in there. We might need that as well in just a moment. You'll see why. But for now we can open this. You see this symbol here? We can actually turn that just slightly. Now what you'll see is if I start to pull this, there's a wire there. Let me do it this way. There it is. Now it's cut. Now it's safe. Otherwise, boom, explosion, right? Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. So if we open this drawer, there's another tool right there. It's actually used multiple times. We've got uh, this ending here, which goes right there. And then we actually need it again Turned around now. You can actually remove that card as well for right this minute. You see how it's. Uh, <laughs> it went right back into the door here. That's not what I intended. Uh, we're just unscrewing these two screws. Let's try this one. There we go. And I don't think we need that for anything else, but now we're going to turn this one just like that for now. Then we've got this here. Uh, there's different wheels up here. I believe we need this one to open this. And you can see it's starting to raise up there. Ah, yes a voice changer. Now you can be any of these different voices, but what we really need to be at a later point is default. Here. And then we're going to move this out of the way, just over here for right now. Let's see what's in here. Ah yes, another tool. Those are useful, of course. And there's some information on these little cards here. Ah, perfect! Let's see. The fabricator's been making these masks, and Juniper's been using them to impersonate heads of state. Hmm, but why? Perhaps the desk has more details on their plan. So we don't really need to know their plan to finish this mission. Uh, we've got a Z here on this tool. The Z is this one right here. And once we've got the Z, We've got some Juniper call notes here. He's impersonating heads of state to get to their nuclear codes. This is bad, Agent. We need to get this briefcase. So we need to get this briefcase, they just said. A couple more things we need right here. I think it's in this one. Yeah, there they are. Those little wire snips. Kind of important. We'll see why in just a second here. And now, we're going to turn this one. It's not that one, but it is that one. That's the fabricator symbol from the letter that we had earlier. Now this mask, if we that look over like here... looks like the mimic mask they're talking about. Agent, take this tracking device. Can you hide it away in that mask somewhere? 
We have to remove the battery power from right here, otherwise it will electrocute us. So we're going to remove that battery. Now we're going to use our wire snips. Oops. Put that back in our mouth. Okay, fine. We won't. Use our wire snips to cut those. We don't need the wire snips anymore. We'll go ahead and put that back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this chip. Inside this little mini suitcase is a tracking chip. And put uh -huh. that on the mask. Good thinking, Agent. They won't be able to find Security the tracking device in there. Make sure to put the mask back together when you're done. And now we'll solder those up. Put that back on the wall. Because we've never been here before, right? Excellent work, Agent. Now, all we need to do is... I think I heard something. Uh -oh. I gotta go check it out. Quick, hide! Or, uh, or, I, uh, I don't know, find a disguise or something. Mask task number 12. Well, something, something I see movement. Who's down there? Man? It's just me. You? The Would South you identify Atlantic yourself, please? Will Hi, it's me. In all of its upcoming initiatives. <laughs> yes. Yes, it will. Oh, uh, sorry to disturb you. I'll leave you to your... To Thank your you. Work. Whew, well, that was too close for comfort. Put the mask back where you found it, will you? Hey, I'm gonna put the mask back where we found it. Good. Now get out of there before the fabricator comes back. Still looking for a hidden trophy. I'm really not sure where it is in this level. Oh well. So no hidden trophy for this one, unfortunately. But let's head up. And there you have it. From the Mimic Mask and everything else we saw in the Fabricator's Workshop, it looks like Juniper's been impersonating heads of state to siphon their nuclear codes to Zarax's defense. At this rate, he could have the world at his feet by the end of the week. We need to stop Juniper, and fast. So it looks like these are from Diane Bakery. Another fancy cupcake. We could drink the bottle of bubbly there, but... I don't think we need any alcohol right now. This has been a look at the third mission of I Expect You to Die 2. Now, I did learn from Agency HQ that I'm really technically not allowed to post the fifth and sixth chapters of I Expect You to Die 2 due to the spoilers that may be contained. So I'm not going to be doing those particular missions, these little walkthrough chapters, until after September 30th. So the first week of October, I'll catch up with those two. And I'm gonna do one more video of the fourth, one more video of the fourth mission sometime during PAX West, because I'm actually going to be going to PAX West. Shell Games is at PAX West. I'm gonna actually go visit their booth. I'll intersperse some footage, hopefully, of that in a later video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to edit mission four um, while I'm in Seattle. But in a recap video from PAX, you'll see that. Uh, while I'm at PAX though, you'll get to see this, uh, mission four, um, which is the next mission in the gameplay, um, as played out with the specific steps that you need to do for the walkthrough, just like I did here. Um, outside of that, you're gonna see videos of some other things while I'm at PAX. Um, so stay tuned for those, and then when I get back from PAX, I'll do a nice recap of all of the VR slash AR fun things that I have experienced at PAX West. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.